a very good day YouTubers and I hope you're keeping well. As I said in um, a previous um, cruising for a paint job video, uh, the next video would more than likely be uh, some cooking, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, the next video, however, will be the uh, motorbike introduction video, as well as I'll be talking you through all the uh, camping kit I'll be taking with me. Um, I've also been narrowing down the island and sorting out the ferry routes and so on. Uh, I've checked and priced up all the ferries, um, all the ones I need operate, um, and the prices are surprisingly reasonable. Um, but I'll be going through all that. Um, probably that I'll be going into the trip in more detail in the video after the motorbike um, introduction video. Um, right, so today I'm going to be making uh, my own baked beans. Um, of course, it would be a lot easier just to buy your own baked beans, but um, baked beans today, even like the most famous brand of baked beans in the world, supermarket owned brands, they're all full of rubbish. Lots of um, artificial sweeteners like dextrose, maltodextrin, um, corn syrup, uh, corn starch, sugar, they're all sweeteners. Um, so I'm going to be making my beans, I won't be using any sugar, any honey, um, and uh, yeah, and we'll give that a go, eh? For this recipe, we're going to need 400 grams of tomatoes, uh, two onions, uh, about 150 grams of uh, smoked streaky bacon, this is a 300 gram pack, so I'll be using, well they're 14 rations, so I'll be using seven rashers, not rations, uh, a couple of cloves of garlic, some paprika, and some cider vinegar. And of course you'd need beans. Uh, traditionally you would use haricot beans, um, but I searched all over, even went in the largest uh, Tesco in the area, and uh, I couldn't find dried haricot beans anywhere. I could have bought tinned haricot beans in water, uh, two tins would have been enough, um, but they do tend to go mushy when you cook them. Uh, so I'm using uh, cannellini beans, um, which are a popular substitute. Last night before I went to bed, I put 400 grams of the cannellini beans in a saucepan, which I filled with water, making sure there was at least two inches of water above the beans, and I left those to soak overnight. Today, about two hours ago, I strained the beans and then refilled the pan with enough water so there was two inches above, then put them on to boil and let them simmer for about an hour. Which is where I'm at now. I'm going to strain but keep the uh, bean water because I'll be adding that back to the beans when they're cooking. It's become immediately apparent that I have far too many beans. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to decant some of those beans and just use slightly less ingredients. I've probably got about, I don't know what, 250, 200, 250 grams of beans. Well, if you have a big enough pan and a big enough family to eat all the beans, then you can use 400 grams of beans. However, I'm going to use about 250 grams of beans. Uh, I'm still going to use two large onions because they'll add uh, a nice, uh, a lot of flavour and sweetness to the beans. Because bearing in mind, I'm not using sugar. And I'm going to slice them thin and then chop them up very small. This is where a bigger kitchen comes in handy. People often compliment me on how I'm able to cook in such a tiny space. It's not through choice. It's just a case of you have to work with what you have. Some olive oil in the pan. And we'll put the onions in there. And now chop the rest of the onion. I'm 
just letting those lightly sweat. We don't really want to brown them. We just want just want to do it until they sort of go a little translucent. Now the garlic, and we'll put that in the pan. Coming along quite nicely. Now we'll take our tomatoes, and these I'm going to chop up very small as well. So when we cook the beans, these are going to stew right down. Give the first tomato a good chop chop, should do it, and we'll put that one in. And I'll do the same with the others. Right, I'm now going to chop up and add the bacon, which I want to cut up as uh, small as possible into like little uh, lardons like that. I am asked a lot, because apparently in America you can't get streaky bacon, but it's essentially it's pork belly. Thinly sliced pork belly. Give that a good stir. Into that I'm going to add uh, three, uh, what are these, dessert spoons, they're not tablespoons, yeah, three dessert spoons of paprika. You can use smoked, sweet, hot, depending how you like your beans. If you want your beans with a bang, then I suggest hot paprika. And then I want to add a generous um, swig of cider vinegar. But you can use any sort of vinegar you like. Then as a final garnish, and to give it a, a nice richer red colour, I like to use um, a bit of cayenne pepper. Great health benefits with cayenne pepper. Probably about a teaspoon's worth because it is quite hot. Lovely. We'll get in there. Okay, yeah, so see that in there, look at that, yeah. Mm, nice. Right, before I put the beans in, I'm just going to add some of the bean stock. We quite a, probably all of it actually, thinking about it. And then I'll add the beans back in. This is where I find out the pan's not big enough. This is the biggest pan I have. That's not so bad. Cover it and I'm going to bring it to the boil and then simmer for about an hour and a half keeping an eye on the the level of the liquid we don't want them running dry you can always add a bit more liquid and then in the last half hour of cooking so after an hour I'll take the lid off and that will help it to thicken and reduce down fabulous Push test button. That's my uh, carbon monoxide alarm. I have to, um, if I'm frying stuff, <coughs> creates a lot of smoke, I have to just disconnect the battery because otherwise it'll just go off. Fire! Fire! Um, yeah. Right, well, while they're doing, uh, I thought I'd answer um, some questions that popped up in the last video. Uh, the first one was, was that a new pair of boots I had on? <laughs> No, I'd worn them a few times in various uh, videos, but they were very uncomfortable and they're very well made. They're Dickies work boots, steel toe cap work boots. And I mean, they look like shoes, but they're not, they're work boots. Um, but they were so new and such thick quality leather that um, they, they wouldn't bend for four years. Um, so I started applying dubbing regularly because, you know, apart from that, they're very comfortable. Um, and yeah, they've started to wear in. Uh, another thing was I passed um, an old derelict boat on the, on the canal when I was heading towards where I was gonna do the painting. Quite a few have asked who's responsible for getting rid of the boats, old sunk, sunken craft and so on. 
um, out of the canal. Now, typically, it's up to the owner to like pay, arrange, whatever, get it lifted out and done with whatever. Uh, but if the owner has just walked away, it's ultimately up to Canal and River Trust and whether, whether they recoup the costs, I've no idea. Um, but in the case of the boat I showed, it's on a private mooring. It's on the off towpath side. It's private mooring. It's part of that like little covered boat yard that's there. Um, so that's beyond the remit of uh, Canal and River Trust. I imagine if the boat was creating an obstruction or there was some chemical toxic seepage from it as a result of it sinking, then Canal and River Trust would get involved. Also following my cruising for a paint job video, um, where I, I said in the video, no, I'm not selling Aslan. Um, yes, I still live aboard and I'm not giving up doing canal based content, but that didn't stop uh, a couple of people asking me, am I selling Aslan? <laughs> no, I'm merely going on a road trip. Um, you know, as I've said before, when people ask, whenever I do anything that's not canal based, I get asked, am I selling Aslan? No, you, I mean, you wouldn't sell your house just because you're going to go take your camper van or whatever around Scotland or Europe or whatever, would you? Another question that popped up quite a bit was, am I going to be filming and sharing the road trip? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if I was going to go off and you know, have a holiday on my own, just, just me and my thoughts, I wouldn't be announcing it. Um, I mean, that wouldn't be fair on you for a start, would it? I'm going to go off and have a ride around all these picturesque, you know, staggering Scottish islands, but I'm not going to show you any of it. So, um, yeah, of course I'm going to film it, yeah. A final question, and one which I, I'm asked quite easily more than any other question, and, it's, and it appears on practically every episode and video featuring Aslan and chugging along with canals. And that is, why do British, why do the British drive on the left, but effectively drive on the right and pass on the right on the canals? And, and it's, you know, it's often a source of a great humour, laugh out loud and all that. Quite simply, it's an international global agreement practice that all waterborne craft travel you know, and pass on the right. Um, so in, in, you imagine no matter where you are in the world, you're a captain on a big oil tanker and you're, you're there, and there's a boat and you're going, oh, should we, should we go left, should we go right? And, and the people on that boat are there going, oh, oh, should we go? Okay, so it's quite simply, it's a carryover from the seafaring days when, you know, Britannia ruled the waves and all that stuff. All around the world, ships, all waterborne craft, pass on the right. The beans are pretty much there. Delicious, rich sauce. Yeah, as I said in the last video, uh, I'm drinking decaf coffee now, water treatment decaf. And uh, there's a few places, a few brands that do it. Booze supermarkets up north uh, do their own uh, water treatment. And the one I have, I was asked on the last video what I'm having. And it's a uh, Taylor's of Harrogate decaf ground roast coffee. Um, whether it's still on at the moment, I don't know. But Tesco, when I bought these two days ago, I bought three packets because they were on offer for 3 50 each with the club card, usually 4 50 So I bought three packs. Um, but yeah, Swiss water treatment, decaf. Uh, ordinary decaf, I've since found out, that's done with solvent. Um, there's still about 2% caffeine left in decaf. But Swiss water treatment guarantees... 99.999% um, caffeine free. Okay, beans are there. And they are done to perfection by the look of it. What can be better 
and then a bowl of beans. Sauce is reduced exactly how it should be. Right, these are hot, but they smell incredible and they smell like baked beans. They're baked beans. And the sauce is sweet. Because of the tomatoes, I used tomatoes that were just slightly overripe. Um, they're sweet with no, no sugar needed. I mean, of course, there's you know, the natural sugar of the tomatoes, but there's also the fibre of the tomato flesh. And you've got the, you've got the bacon as well, and then the onions and the garlic. Paprika, which gives more than anything the colour. No need for tomato puree, which of course is manufactured as well. Oh, that's the timer telling me the beans are ready. <laughs> wow, yeah, fabulous. Oh, I urge you to uh, have a go at these. So I only used 250 grams of the beans as opposed to 400 because the pan wasn't big enough. Oh, squeaky floor. Right, yeah, next video. Um, it's, it's all down to weather, really. I'm waiting for a, you know, a three-day break in the uh, weather because um, I'm going to go off to a, a local place to introduce the bike uh, and all the camping uh, gear that I'm going to be using, uh, as well as uh, photographic uh, gear and so on and so forth. Um, so, yeah, a week, maybe two weeks, ten days, two weeks, uh, that video will be up. Uh, and then I can do another video where I... You know, I'll have finalised the uh, course, the journey, and I can go through that. Um, yeah, and then I'm hoping, weather-wise, if it all if it's all going the way it is, the weather's uh, quite nice at the moment. Um, I'm hoping, um, what are we looking at? Second week of April, third week of April, and uh, yes, of course, I'll be I'll be filming it all. So yeah, until then, uh, take care of yourselves and uh, cheers for now.